What's up guys and today we got flashback Colin Kaepernick angle breaker and chain mover chemistry now I do have that chain mover to a tier number one so keep that in mind 6 4 90 speed a6 awareness 91 throw mid 92 throw on the run 86 play action 91 throw short 94 throw power and 85 deep throw now of course as you would expect he's got some nice juke and spin moves but of course with a quarterback you never really want to test it too often unless it's like a really clutch moment and you gotta have it does have a 79 carry and I was going to be comparing him to Donovan McNabb but we'll get to that part later. Now of course his short throw was no problem whatsoever. I mean I did not have a single bad short throw thankfully. I was not really expecting any bad short throws anyways. And as you can see here if you throw a lot of uh, out routes or even slants I find it hard to believe that he's really going to let you down in that area. And it seems to me that more and more people are starting to run the cover two defense, which is a very annoying defense, you know, in general. But if you got a quarterback with a good mid throw, I mean, you should be able to just eat it alive, like right here, whether it's to the left or to the right. And as you can see, man, when it came to the mid throw with Kaepernick, did not really, or he did have one bad pass, but overall was impressive. Now, 85 deep throw did worry me at first, but he did not, you know, fail more than he succeeded. He definitely had way more good passes than uh, bad passes, and of course. 94 throw power man look right here i'm at the 15 yard line i chuck it up the ball lands all the way at the 20 and hits my receiver in stride for the touchdown so believe me no worries at all when it came to the uh, throw power and for those of you who love to scramble and throw on the run kaepernick will fit your scheme no problem i mean look at this play right here i'm running to the left i'm gonna throw across my body and he hits him in stride not in stride but he hits him perfectly for the uh, clutch catch so whether you're running to the left to the right you shouldn't have too many bad throws with kaepernick i think out of like maybe 11 passes on the run I think he had like one bad pass which to me isn't really you know that bad of a percentage so as you can see here man he can definitely throw on the run to the left or to the right and just make your offense that much more dangerous as far as the bad pass like I said he had one bad mid throw right here he had one bad deep throw and right here the bad he had one bad throw on the run so it seemed to me like he had one of each except for the short throw but like I said man overall in terms of percentage I was impressed and of course the major selling point is this right here the speed the agility to zigzag past defenders and the reason I was comparing to McNabb is because McNabb is one of the few quarterbacks who can run and not fumble when he gets hit not so much the hit stick but even just regular tackle so many quarterbacks will fumble even from a regular tackle Kaepernick is definitely one of, one of the very few who can actually take a regular hit and not fumble but even so I only recommend doing that if it's a clutch moment like a 4th and 10 or something you just gotta have it. If it's 1st and 10 or 2nd and 10 and you're scrambling for the first down don't get greedy man take what you can get and slide. Like I said only do this you know or go for the tackle like right there if it's a clutch moment. So as you can see guys up and down the board a very dangerous quarterback. I actually did just win my whole Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick from beginning to end. I will be uploading that a video very soon. And he goes for like 400k, that is a lot, and if I had to assume how much he's worth, I would say maybe 200k, but the odds of him dropping that low anytime soon are very, very low. And, of course, if you got the coins, and he fits your scheme, and you like the way he plays, I mean, go for it, I mean, why not? Obviously, like I told you, you can win your games, but personally, for me, I'm going to stick with McNabb for now, because he only puts like 100k, and they play very similar. And, of course, he's better at running in terms of, you know, falling forward and breaking tackles, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review, uh, like I said, will be the campus hero, Todd Gurley, and the team of the week, Jarrell Casey. Those reviews should be coming soon. And guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you boys for the next review. Peace.